nocturia. When your kidneys start having problems, the first thing you might notice is something called nocturia. This means you have to pee a lot during the night, and it's hard to hold it until morning. It's like a little alarm bell telling you something might be wrong with your kidney. This happens a lot with people who have diabetes, which is a condition where your body has trouble controlling sugar levels. Edema. If your kidneys are not working well, it can cause a condition called edema, which is when you have swelling in certain parts of your body. One place you might notice swelling is in your lower legs and ankles. You can check by pressing your finger into the skin. If it leaves a dent, that's a sign of edema. Another place you might see swelling is under your eyes, or you might have puffy bags. These are both signs that your kidneys might be having trouble, leading to a fluid buildup and ultimately swelling. Uremic frost. Another symptom you might notice if your kidneys aren't working well is called uremic frost. This happens when things like uric acid start building up in your body because your kidneys aren't able to get rid of them properly. You might see little white specks, like frost, on your skin, usually on your scalp or the front part of your head. This is because the urea, which is a waste product, is coming out through your skin since your body can't remove it as it should. Acidic urine. When your urine becomes very acidic, it means your body is getting more acidic overall. This happens because of an imbalance with ammonia which is usually very alkaline and helps balance things out in your body. But if there's too much ammonia in certain areas and not enough in others, it messes up your body's pH balance. Another reason you might become acidic, especially if you have diabetes, is when your insulin levels drop too low. This can lead to uncontrolled blood sugars, which, if not managed properly, can cause a condition called ketoacidosis, low vitamin D. See, your kidneys play a crucial role in converting inactive vitamin D into the active form your body needs. If your kidneys aren't functioning properly, this conversion process doesn't happen effectively, no matter how much vitamin D you take. As a result, you end up with a deficiency in active vitamin D and calcium. This deficiency can lead to various issues like calcification in your arteries, a condition called atherosclerosis, and the formation of kidney stones. Calcium buildup can occur in other parts of your body too, like your eyes and nerves, causing problems like neuritis,